breaking news from the Inception universe. Hang on, let's do this one dream level down. Okay, breaking news. Humanity has invented a device that allows you to enter people's dreams. You could literally spend a lifetime in someone else's head, and when you wake up, only a few hours have passed. The applications for this technology are massive. Now, the entertainment industry has unfortunately taken a critical blow. People no longer need to watch films, or read books, or play computer games to seek escapism. Instead, they just hook themselves up to a person's dream and experience something firsthand, kind of like real life. And it can literally be anything. It could be in a fantasy world, a science fiction world, or some sort of contemporary setting they haven't yet experienced. As long as someone else has experienced it, they can be in a dream and go for it themselves. It's amazing. Movie stars are out of a job and the economy has taken a big hit because of this. Just think, there's no more need for TV, movie theatres, publishers, or any of that anymore. We can spend a, literally a whole lifetime inside a dream. Apparently you can also enter an infinite dreamscape, which is kind of like a high resolution Minecraft world. People are staying in more. When they get home from work and school, they immediately dip into a dream. This has caused nature to start healing. The devices that make dreams a reality require very little energy and so our power consumption has gone down. Because no one is using any electronic devices anymore, nobody's driving anywhere, food intake has also reduced. All in all, this device has saved the planet from global warming. However, scientists warn that poor nutrition will lead to a race of humans that kind of look like someone who only eats fast food. The teaching abilities of this technology are enormous. For example, the education sector has lapped this technology up and has changed forever. A new system has been devised where a student will simply hook themselves up to a dream and learn in a simulated high school in real time for a few hours. This means that children can now be ready to enter the workplace 10 years earlier. So the government is looking to change all those pesky child labor laws. Hmm. Don't forget though, you must take a token with you to prove that you're dreaming. This is mine, a sort of spinner. Fidget spinners are finally useful in this scenario. And the token, as long as you only touch it, will tell you whether or not you're in a dream. I must also point out that you can't enter your own dreams. There must be at least one other person with you. You have to go into their head, you can't just go into yours. There has been a major backlash against this technology from introverts, single people, and people with no friends as they can't use the tech as regularly as other people. That's why I won't be using it all that much. <sighs> well, this also just in. Hang on, let's do this another dream level down. Okay, breaking news. It turns out that people can steal secrets from your head by entering your dreams and then manipulating you to access your thoughts. However, you can have your subconscious trained to prevent this. So extraction, as it's known, is no longer a threat. Just remember when you do go into your dream to lock the door to your bedroom and maybe set up some sort of Ruth Goldberg device that gives you a kick should someone attempt to gain access to the room where you're dreaming. It's just an idea pretty much foolproof for stop people from getting into your dream. However, while dream thefts are going to be able to be reduced, real burglaries have skyrocketed. Since everyone is dreaming now, robbers only need to avoid bedrooms to avoid disturbing their clients. Billionaires around the world have woken up to find their houses emptied of, well, everything, while they deeply dream of presumably other ways to screw over the poor and needy. Breaking news. Hang on. Let's do this another dream level down. Okay. Oh. 
Breaking news, the head of Fisher Industries has decided to break up his company, something he decided to do while travelling on his main rival's airline. His company was set to become a new world power due to its near monopoly on energy production. This just in, apparently different parts of the company that have been sold off have been brought by Saito Industries, making his company the new world power. I wonder if that was his goal all along. Also in the news, a man accused of killing his wife was released from custody after fingerprint and DNA evidence proved that he was in a completely different hotel room to his wife when she tragically killed herself. It appeared to the police that he had fought with her in their hotel room and then killed her. However, it became clear she had set up the whole thing to frame him. After all, she did get approval by three psychologists that she was not insane and then busted up two rooms and didn't make sure he had touched all the stuff in one of them. It's a very strange situation. Apparently, the woman thought she was still dreaming and wanted to wake up from the dream alongside her husband. That's one of the side effects of dreaming too much. Her husband is quoted as saying, why didn't she just spin her spinning top that would have proved to her that she was in the real world? Well, that's the news. It's time to return to the real world. Let me just give myself a kick. <laughs> Not actually kick me. Oh. Oh. Okay, give me another kick. <sighs> okay, another kick. the real world I like, I'm so confused we went down so many different levels thankfully there is a foolproof way to find out whether I'm not in the dream my totem the spinning top okay that looks still spinning so it looks like we're still in the dream so I'm just going to take these death pills and that will sort me out because dying in a dream also sends you back to the real world Uh-oh. 